Right, so you have here the UETF-10. This is a uh, quite an old IEM. As we can see here, uh, most of the TF-10 they are quite old and start to flake. Okay, uh, today we are going to show you uh, what to do when you have a flaky uh, TF-10. In, in the next video, we'll be doing a detachable cable mod on the TF-10 itself. The paint peeling on the TF10 is very common uh, off edge, but then uh, this uh, plastic cracking and peeling uh, is actually a very simple thing to deal with. Just take a look at the, the plastic, it starts here and ends at the other side. So this soft rubber, uh, it was soft rubber until it's hardened and started to crack. Uh, They are actually uh, covering up a hard piece inside, so it's actually very safe to remove all the soft rubber. Okay, as you can see, the TF10, uh, there are two dampers uh, inside. Uh, we have this uh, nozzle and uh, the housing and the back housing and the connector. This uh, TF10 is a triple driver setup. Uh, it's very very OIEM already. <clears throat> a lot of you should have some of it uh, lying around. Uh, there was one Black Friday where it was only 99 USD. So, to remove this, uh, it's very simple, just use a fingernail, any soft plastic, uh, for example, uh, or any metal piece, uh, let's say we'll be using this uh, tweezer, just push it up, it'll, it'll crack open, so I prefer to use my nails. Uh, So, as you can see, uh, all that happens is that it's slimmer and it's, it's not sticky, it's, it's not tacky, it's just slimmer, that's all. So, if you want to see it before and after, that's all the difference. And uh, it will still be uh, strong because uh, it's not a form of adhesive that uh, sticks the two shells together, they actually, stick, they actually stuck together at this part. We will do the same for the other side. It's a very very simple process. I mean, uh, if you own one of these, you should already have uh, an idea because once it start cracking, you can see the inside, and it's actually very simple. A lot of people they seek help for this. It will be a mess, uh, so make sure you have something to to actually wipe them away. You can prepare a piece of uh, wet tissue to really just clean them up. Get the residue out. <clears throat> and that's it for the video. If you really want, you could some uh, resin all around it to to get it back to the original thickness but it's not it's not actually useful so uh, you don't have to do that so in the next video we'll be talking about uh, how can we mod the TF10 uh, safely and easily uh, without taking apart the shell because once the TF10 shell is taken apart uh, it will be non-reversible you cannot re really just take it back and uh, expect it to hold together uh, if I can, I will show you the internals uh, in the in the next video.